Hello there, I'm Giant Quo with more Pokemon Mush Dungeon Rescue Team. In the last part we took on, we found out that, you know, Alkazam's team isn't back and that, um, we're going to go save his team in the Magma Cavern. We're gonna take on the Magma Cavern in this part. So yeah, when you're ready, you can say, all set. So yeah, we'll both get a good sleep and see you tomorrow. Okay, so like, there'll be another cutscene with Gardevoir, I think, here, because it's the nighttime, of course. So, why wouldn't there not be a cutscene with Gardevoir in the dream? I'm in that dream again. Gardevoir. It's tomorrow, isn't it? That you take to that underground dungeon. Yes. They made make it sound like one terrible place. I wonder if we'll be okay. You'll be you will be fine. I am certain that you will succeed, Steven. You have a sm you have my support. Please go with strength. I will thank you. I'm feeling a little better for now. I will go for it. By the way, Gardevoir, do you know what what it's like underground or what Groudon is like? No, I am sorry to say I can't envision that. Envision it. Okay. I, I thought you might know. I, I thought you maybe you knew something the way you said it. No, I only wanted to give your, you encouragement. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, that's fine, too. I'm happy you tried to cheer me up. Thank you. But there's one more thing that I can foresee. Huh? Your role is coming to its end, little by little. My role is ending? You became a Pokemon in order to fulfill a certain role, and, the ro and that role brought you here. Now that role is finally drawing to its conclusion. Interesting. Gardevoir, tell me, what is my role? Why did I become a Pokemon? When the time comes, I think I can tell you when this adventure is finished. A uh, reservoir. <laughs> I think that's like French or something. Yeah. Next morning. Okay, um... Yeah, good morning, Steven. Did you sleep well? Okay, this is it. Let's do our best and save Alakazam's team. We walk off. I'm just staying put right now. Gardevoir said she's she will tell me everything when the adventure is over. Is going underground the adventure she meant? When what will she tell me if we rescue Alakazam's team? Hello, there's Cody. Are you st are you asleep still? Let's get going. <laughs> Yeah, and then you have a break to do whatever you want. You can't go on and rescue missions because your job list is uh, uh, canceled out. But um, I wanted to show off some things. I didn't get, I, I wasn't able to get the X-ray specs, which is a very bad disadvantage for me because X-ray specs is a held item you can use to see like all the items on a floor or all the enemies on a floor, and it's really helpful. But I, I didn't get that item, so I'm stuck with. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, um, I'm going with, um, I have a big apple, apple, I have one berry, one berry, one berry, one berry, apple, one berry, I have four reviver seeds, I have three max elixirs, I have three huge apples, and then I have a combination of apples and a big apple. So, my, my toolbox is almost completely full, even right before I step into the dungeon, because I want to be well prepared. I mean, this is a tough dungeon. It's nothing to joke about, really. It really is tough. I think it's 23 or 24 fours before you get a break or a save point. But other than that, um, I'm not taking Napsal with me again, as I said in the last part. Uh, he'd help me, he'd probably hurt me more than help me. But whenever you're ready, you can head for the Magma Cavern. Okay, it's way out east. Where um, Mount Freeze is, actually, to be close near that at least. Whoa. Oh, I feel bad for you, grass type Pokemon, if you're a partner, if you're a grass type. Because this place. Has a little bit of everything. This must be it. Groudon is in this in this underground cavern. Phew, look at all the streams of streams of lava. It's going to be scorching hot in this dun in the dungeon, I think. This should be there should be other rescue teams making their way through even now. Let's try our best like always. Good job, Cody, let's do this.
so Magic McCavern has fire types, it has ground types, it has rocks types, it even has poison types like Grimer and uh, Orbach and stuff like that. Ah oh, man, and then it, it has steel types too. But, yeah. Just gonna try not to wake up that Needle Queen. I really wish I had the X-ray scopes right now, because I don't know where mon- Because, you know, as I said before, monster houses appear when there's a lot of items on in one area. So avoid them at all costs if you can. It just sucks if you if the steps happen to be where that where all those items are, because that means you're probably running the monster house. Then, what, what what what's my set move? Water gun. Okay, so Cody moves. Okay, I'm gonna organize his moves super quick. There we go. Um, you can use all those except for um, I don't want him to use metal claw. But every other move he can use. Well, yeah, man, yeah, just not medical. <laughs> medical doesn't really help me in this dungeon. So yeah, we're gonna take this thing out. I'm I'm level 25, and I think Cody's level 24. If you're below level 24, just make sure beforehand that you come into this dungeon at least level 25. I mean, it's just to help. I mean, you know, this dungeon's hard enough as it is. I'm gonna use a bubble on this thing. There we go. There we go, nice one, hey kill. Okay, other than that, um, watch out for monstrous houses as I said before. These four houses are pretty big, so you'll probably be wandering around if you don't find the steps immediately. Other than that, music time. Okay, right here I found the TM for Flamethrower. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm gonna swap out this item. I'm gonna switch an item. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the red gummy. Cause I wanna teach Flamethrower to Cody. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found this. I, I, was, I, I was just hoping I'd be in the um, Kecleon shop, but I actually found it for free in the dungeon. So let's use it on um, Cody real quick. So what should we... Okay, good. I used on the right Pokemon. Okay, good. Okay, so let's get rid of, um... Um... Medical is still kind of useful. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of Ember. Yeah. Wait, is... Uh, well, Medical doesn't get the same type of attack bonus. Maybe Medical, yeah. I'll get rid of Medical. So, yeah. Ah, uh, shoot. And then let's go to Yes. Yeah. And then let's go to Team and organize his moves again. Okay, I'm so glad I found this TM. So worth picking up. Anyway, let's go back to the music.
Okay, come the 24th floor, um, I think there'll be an introduction to onyxes that you have to fight if you run into any at least. I should use dig. Shoot. Yeah, okay, I finished this one off with water gun, but the other one off with dig. So, um, yeah. But onyxes are no joke in this game. And other Pokemon game, any, like any other Pokemon game like Fire Red, Leaf Green, you know, especially in those games. They were a joke and so easy to beat because you could use either grass or water type move. It's four times effective. But in this game, Onyxes are tougher and they can really hurt you if you don't be careful. So, um, other than that, I want to head back to the music, I guess. So I just want to make that quick note. Okay, I just one shot an Onyx, so maybe they're not as tough as I thought, but don't still don't take him lightly. Anyways, let's go back to the music again. One shot with bubble right there, jeez. And after all that, you have a save point. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon for Rescue Team Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on the rest of Magma Cavern and hopefully rescue Algazam's team. So this has been Janko again. I would, like to I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon for Rescue Team Walkthrough Guide.